The J.I. Case Company of Racine, Wisconsin, and your local Case Farm Equipment dealer present the 600 multi-crop self-propelled combine. What do farmers look for when they buy a new self-propelled combine? We've asked this question of men who own and operate various makes of combines all over North America. Farmers in the West want a machine that will harvest a variety of crops, including fine seeds. Custom operators asked for a wide cylinder for a faster, better threshing job in heavy stands and irrigated crops. Fast sickle speed is needed for down and tangled crops. Greater separating and cleaning area was mentioned by farmers almost universally. Combine owners in the corn belt need fast interchangeability of grain and corn heads, along with reserve power for tough crop conditions. Wheel spacing is most important to farmers who harvest row crops. The steering wheels on some machines ride up on the rows, causing operator fatigue from oversteering and excessive tire wear. There is a need for good visibility into the grain bin and for easy tailings return inspection. Farmers in rolling country ask for a combine of balanced design and stability. And of course, price is a factor considered by all cost-conscious farmers. A buyer wants and deserves all the combine he can get for the dollars he invests. During the past harvest season, we talked to case combine owners all over the country. We asked them what they liked about their new 600 and how it measured up to their expectations after a season of full use. Here are some of the comments. The wheat was down and the straw was really tough, but the 600 did a fine job. A combination of fast sickle speed and precision ground speed control helped save the crop. A Canadian farmer who harvested his largest crop said, the weeds would have plugged an average combine. He especially mentioned the advantages of the wide 40-inch feeding, threshing, separating, and cleaning, and independent control of feeding and separating mechanisms. Another farmer told us, frequent checks behind the machine showed very little grain loss on the ground. Threshing, separating, and cleaning capacity of the 600 are excellent. This custom operator owned seven self-propelled combines. He was pleased with the way the K-600 kept up with his so-called big machines. He cut more acres in one year than many farmers cut in five. Row spacing of the 66-inch rear axle and 80-inch drive wheel tread pleased this 600 owner. This corn farmer was impressed with the ample reserve power of the 600 engine and the fact that he could run his machine all day on one 30-gallon tank of gasoline. Visibility and operating ease were rated high by all 600 owners. They were impressed with being able to check the tailings quickly and being able to see and reach into the grain bin. Edible bean growers benefit from the special cupped flighting in the 8-inch wide clean grain elevator that handles this crop so gently. A rubber padded beater behind the cylinder also contributes to less bean crackage. Perforated bottoms in the tailings and clean grain elevator cross auger troughs allow dirt to filter out, resulting in a cleaner bean sample in the bin. These perforated troughs Standard equipment in the 600 edible bean combine are also available for 600 grain machines and have found wide acceptance among soybean growers who were bothered with excessive dirt and weed seed problems. The benefits these farmers said they wanted from their next combine are provided by the many features of the Case 600. Operating convenience, performance, and capacity are the main categories that the favorable comments of 600 owners fall into. Let's look at operating conveniences first. 
Before going into the field, most operators are willing to spend 10 or 15 minutes checking their machine, greasing where required. Service time beyond these few minutes means lost time in the field. In order to keep service time to a minimum, the K600 has sealed bearings wherever possible and has only 18 fittings which require daily greasing. Special shielding is available to cover drives and quickly folds up to provide access for servicing. The 600 engine is readily accessible for servicing. The engine runs cleaner and cooler because air is able to circulate freely around it. The center location contributes to the balanced weight design of the combine. The 30 gallon fuel tank is low mounted for easy refueling from ground level. In this position the danger of gasoline spilling over a hot engine or exhaust is eliminated. Controls are within easy reach and gauges are grouped together so they can be viewed at a glance. The cushioned seat tips up to keep it dry overnight and provides the operator with extra leg room for standing. The operator's platform is located away from engine exhaust and heat. It is high off the ground which keeps the operator away from dust and dirt. He can watch the cut side and not miss any crop and can readily see the auger to unload on the go if desired. For additional all-season comfort from the weather, a custom-built cab is available. Individual levers provide separate throw-out control of header and the threshing body. The operator can reach either one quickly. Turning brakes are Bendix combination band disc type for positive action and long life. The brake drums are enclosed to keep out dirt and moisture. The tailings return elevator has an inspection door at the operator's fingertips, which enables him to make quick checks conveniently. Concave clearance can be set from the combine seat by turning this crank. A complete turn of the handle raises or lowers the concave by 1 64th of an inch. A calibrated gauge shows the operator what the setting is. Header height is controlled by this fingertip lever. Hydraulic reel lift is also available. The lever on the opposite side of the steering column controls variable ground travel speed. Farmers who use their combine to field shell corn will be pleased with a folding ladder. Corn isn't knocked down when opening fields or harvesting back and forth. Performance of a combine includes such features as maneuverability, traction and flotation, field and road speed, and bin unloading time. The K600 leads the way in performance. Maneuverability of the K600 is important to many farmers. With brakes applied, the machine can turn in either direction within a radius of 7 feet 6 inches. This makes cutting square corners easy. Wheel tread width is excellent for row crops. Both drive wheels and steering wheels straddle two rows. However, the steering wheels do not travel in drive wheel tracks. This is particularly beneficial when harvesting in soft fields. To suit individual traction and flotation needs, a wide variety of tire sizes and tread styles is available. Hydrostatic power steering is an all hydraulic steering system which provides easier control of the combine on rough or soft terrain. Two protected hydraulic lines are the only connection between the steering control pump and the ram at the rear axle. Should the engine stop, the operator retains control because the hydrostatic steering immediately reverts to manual operation.
The heavy-duty transmission has three forward and one reverse gear. When used in combination with the variable ground speed drive, it provides infinite speeds to match ground travel and crop conditions. Ground speed ranges from less than one mile per hour to 13.8 miles per hour road speed. Fast unloading, along with a large grain bin, means more time for harvesting while the combine is in the field. A 10 bushel extension is available to increase total bin capacity to 50 bushels. It can be unloaded while standing or on the go. Long life is a proven feature of the K600. It has been subjected to every conceivable type of endurance testing. In this picture, the 600 is shown on a 100 hour non-stop run on the factory test track. The grain bin is fully loaded and all mechanisms are operating at top speed. As additional insurance for trouble-free operation, each production machine is tested and over 100 items are carefully inspected before it is shipped from the factory. But the real proof of performance is in the field. On the farm use and full season use by custom operators, have contributed to the final proof of long life performance. Here are some of the special attachments for the K600 which provide additional versatility. There is a choice of 10, 13, or 14 foot headers. They can be equipped with bat type or pickup reels. A windrow pickup is available. Hydraulic reel lift provides fingertip reel adjustment. There is a choice of rub bar or spike tooth cylinders and a straw chopper is available. Capacity determines a combine's harvesting capabilities. This includes such commonly compared features as cylinder width, separating area, cleaning area and engine power. But there are other factors that should be considered when determining the capacity of a combine. Factors such as Sickle speed, reel adjustment, header size, feed rake width, concave area, air blast, and clean grain elevator size. Capacity of a combine begins at the sickle. The K600 uses a 500 stroke per minute sickle speed for fast cutting in heavy stands. This is 15% faster than most competitive machines. Stocks are cut clean, not shaken so that grain falls on the ground. Forged steel guards have a hardened sickle surface which eliminates the need for ledger plates. The heavy sway bar sickle drive pivots on rubber bushings. The drives are precision balanced to minimize vibration and power requirements. The auger is protected from possible damage by a slip clutch. A retractable finger auger conveys cut grain to the center where it is fed to the feed rake. The auger is 20 inches in diameter, with fingers mounted in pairs rather than singly to handle short straw crops better. Cut grain is moved from the auger to the cylinder by the feed rake. The 600 combine is equipped with an undershot feed rake with a sprocketless lower drum. The drum floats up and down, which permits the passage of varying thicknesses of material without plugging or wrapping, and without worry of a chain running off a sprocket. Alternate slats of the feed rake are equipped with rubber wipers. This ensures that loose kernels move to the cylinder where they drop through the concave grate onto the cleaning shoe. The feeder housing is 40 inches wide permitting a wide, thin flow of material to the cylinder for most efficient threshing. Notice the large access door and the rigid cross bracing. The cylinder is a full 40 inches in width to match threshing capacity to feeding. There is no bottleneck where material is fed from a wider housing to a narrower cylinder. 
Eight heavy forged steel rub bars are bolted on in matched weighed pairs, then balanced again on the cylinder. This ensures an easy running, vibrationless threshing unit. The rub bars are separate from the bed bars, keeping replacement costs down. The fillers located between the cylinder rub bars are used when the combine is equipped with a corn head. They prevent cobs from lodging between the cylinder bars. The K600 utilizes a drum type beater located behind the cylinder to help deliver straw to the separating area uniformly. Although 90% of separating takes place at the cylinder, there is another 10% of the crop to be saved. This 10% must be separated from large volumes of straw that pass through the combine. There is plenty of clearance over the straw rack to permit straw to move without bunching. The check flap behind the beater is constructed of metal, not just canvas, for long life. The straw rack is a full 40 inches wide. Its area is 4,480 square inches for thorough separation of the crop from straw and chaff. But there is more to the secret of the successful separation of the straw rack in the K600 than just big area. This diagram illustrates the mechanical action between the straw rack and the grain return pan that we call air bellows separation. The gray arrows indicate the downward movement of the rack, while the grain return pan is moving upward. This up and down motion takes place 250 times per minute. The grain return pan with its solid bottom forces air up through the perforated bottom of the straw rack as shown by the blue arrows. This air continues on up through the straw, fluffing it in addition to the normal agitation and allows remaining grain kernels to fall through. A uniform blast of air is directed under the entire cleaning area by a large variable speed fan. There are no dead air spots because wind direction is preset for complete shoe coverage, eliminating wind boards and baffles that require guesswork adjustment in the field. Wind velocity is varied to match crop conditions by changing the RPMs of the fan simply through turning a nut on the fan drive shiv. The total cleaning area is 2,663 square inches. Dividers in the grain pan keep grain separated for best air cleaning action. Conveniently reached levers at the rear of the sieves adjust the size of the sieve openings. The balanced capacity of the K600 is also evident in the size of the clean grain elevator. It is five inches wide to assure a continuous movement of heavy yielding grain or shelled corn away from the cleaning shoe to the grain bin. The operator can easily watch the clean grain and check samples as it enters the grain bin. There is a cross auger inside the bin that spreads grain uniformly to retain the balanced weight design of the machine. An 8-inch diameter unloading auger empties the grain bin in 90 seconds. The unloading auger is hinged so that it can be folded for transport. The K600 has reserve power to handle heavy slugs and high-yielding crops. A 56-horsepower heavy-duty tractor-proven engine provides ample power matched to the balanced capacity of the combine. It's a performance-proven, case-built gasoline engine with 188 cubic inch displacement. A case diesel engine is also available for the 600 combine. Thorough examination from front to rear of the case 600 with its big 40 inch cylinder and body width, more than 31 square feet of air bellows separating area, 2,663 square inch air lift cleaning area, and the many other features are proof that this machine has capacity.
Yes, it's a big combine. Big in all the things important to farmers. Whether it's capacity, performance, or price, the K600 has the benefits many farmers said they wanted from their next combine. Whether you measure a combine by performance, by price, or both, you've chosen a winner when you buy a K600. Thank you.